Hey Taurus, welcome to your June 2022 read with Alexander Tarot. This will be a general read. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I've already pre-shuffled your decks and meditated on your cards, but I'm going to give it another shuffle. Uh, cross watchers are welcome and roles may be reversed. We're gonna find out what's going on with you and the person you're connecting with, the person in your energy for June 2022, Taurus, okay? Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I am new to the YouTube channel community, but I'm not new to YouTube. Um, I mean, I'm not new to tarot reading. I have over a decade of personal reading experience. I have COVID, so I am not dressed. I am recovering. Guys, be safe out there, please. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull some cards. I'm gonna pull your current energy, Taurus. Then I'm gonna pull in past, present, and future some cards. And then I, at the bottom of the deck will be your challenges. Spirits, please um, let me know what's going on between Taurus and the person that they are connecting with, the person on Taurus's mind. What's going on currently with Taurus and the person that they are connecting with? What is currently Taurus's energy? Spirits, please reveal Taurus' current energy. Okay, Ace of Swords is your current energy. Cards. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, your challenges is the Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay. So Ace of Swords, Taurus, is your, your current energy. I feel like your energy right now is, is about new beginnings and communicating. You've gotten some mental clarity about something, some something. You you feel like you've made some sort of breakthrough. Um, and you realize the truth about somebody that you were connected with. So you just you're thinking about communicating and you're feeling like it would be the right decision. Okay, so that's where your energy is right now. Okay, so let's see. In the past, I got the moon and the nine of cups. Okay. I feel like with the nine of cups that someone in the, in the past was your wish fulfillment. It was a very happy union at, the, at some time. Um, you were just completely fulfilled with this person. They were your wish. They were like the person of your dreams. Um, but I also feel in the recent past that there was something that came to the surface. Someone in this union had hidden intentions and it caused the other person within this connection to feel insecurity. Somebody was also keeping their, you know, their emotions repressed and then, you know, some things ended up coming to the surface, okay? There was some deceptive energy. And you know, when you're repressing your emotions and stuff, you're deceiving yourself too. I'm, again, there's someone in this connection, I have to pull cards to find out who it was, all right? Um, spirits, please reveal to me um, the energy of Please clarify this moon and show me um, the energy. No, I don't want to see that. Please clarify this moon and show me Taurus's intentions towards the person that they were connecting to. Please clarify the moon and show me Taurus's intentions to the person that they were connecting. Okay, I have the star and I have the two of pentacles reverse so i feel like you were feeling really hopeful and you're still feeling really hopeful about the person that you were connecting with as far as where this moon is um but you were just there was just you were completely overwhelmed you had a lot going on in your life just and i'm not sure if you communicated that I think, but I do think you kind of suppressed your emotions as indicated in this moon card 
and just you know it just and allow this situation to become an issue within this connection but that's what it really was you just have a lot going on at now right now um taurus but i feel like you you know you still feel hopeful you still want to manifest this love okay it's nine of cups in the current position i have the eight of pentacles reverse and the seven of wands reverse Again, I just feel like you're, there's, a, there's a procrastinating energy. This is so similar to the Aries read. But what I'm getting with this Eight of Pentacles is that you just, right now, you can't commit to anything right now because you're like all over the place. You're, you're, this is workaholic energy. You feel like you feel overworked. Um, you might have even overspent there's some financial insecurity in this card and then you feel like you know your efforts were putting for nothing so because of that you're just lacking motivation currently um taurus so it's like you feel like you feel defeated like you're giving up you also feel like perhaps you know you took a loss with the person you were connected you were connected to um, because of everything that's going on in your life and with the seven of wands reverse you're you're thinking about compromising okay perhaps move, you know coming forward and compromising with um, the person you were connecting with because you know you're not a bad person it's just that you have so much going on you do not feel financially stable as indicated in this um, eight of pentacles and so you didn't have what it takes to pour into that connection because you didn't feel that you had it together otherwise to give to the connection okay so the future card is the nine of pentacles and the knight of pentacles and with all these pentacles there's so much earth energy so Whew, there's a lot of pentacles in this read, so you may very well be um, connecting to um, an earth sign, a Taurus, another oh, another Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. But take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if you're in this read and, you, and it resonates for you, then this is your read. I'm just telling you what energies I'm picking up, but this could be for anybody. Okay? I mean, just like, I mean, I'm also getting Pisces energy. Um, I'm getting Aquarius. Okay? So take what resonates, guys. Okay. So what advice... Hmm. With the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, what I'm getting is... In the near future, I feel like you're going to come into your financial stability things are going to improve for you. You're going to start to feel your independence again. You're going to reap some of the rewards of your hard work with this Nine of Pentacles, um, Taurus, and you're going to feel more in control. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, I'm getting a very stubborn energy. But I just feel like your main focus in the main future is just to to get into um, to move into financial stability, which you're going to. And it's just I just get a lot of hard work and energy, you know, just being persistent and completing your task, completing what you start. Um, you may even like to just go on long walks and stuff like that, or just sometimes just being outside, clearing your head, you know, um, getting in, you know feeling close to nature, that kind of thing. I know that sounds weird, but that's what the cards are telling me. There's not a pentacles, but it's just more about getting yourself together on your own. And you're getting a lot of solitude from this. And there's a lot of emotionally um, maturity that's, that is um, evolving with you, Taurus, okay? What advice do you have to, for Taurus for but first and foremost, let's go see your challenges. Your challenges at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups Reverse. Your challenges is just to um, get yourself back out there again and feel confident about reconnecting okay um to overcome 
this breakup. Like right now with this Two of Cups reverse, you feel like there's so much imbalance with the person that you was connecting to and you guys are clearly not together. So your challenge is to avoiding any more t further tension or arguments or um, any bad communication. And to, at the same time, you know, feel confident with your independence. Because it's like you care about this person, you wanna be with this person, but you wanna avoid drama. but you also don't want to be in your head and overworked. You want to get yourself out, socialize, um, be optimistic about that. You know, feel good about yourself again, feel attractive again. You want to get back to um, feeling confident about yourself with this queen of wands and, you know, just feeling independent. That is your challenge, okay? Being able to feel independent, but not feeling broken by this two of cups, all right? What advice do you have for our Taurus for June 2022? Spirits, please reveal. Thank you for all the messages that I've received. Spirits, what messages, what advice do you have for Taurus? Okay, the advice um, cards are not past, present, and future. They're just three cards with advice for you. I have the Seven of Swords. I've got the Ace of Cups reverse and the Sun. The swords are very deceptive, and I can see that you're in your head of, with a lot of deceptive energy, like feeling that you're being deceived, um, spying on somebody that you care about. Um, your mind is manipulating you. It's it's playing tricks on you with the seven of swords. I mean, all kind of thoughts, um, all kind of thoughts, feeling betrayed, and just just things that are not realistic. Okay, um, and the swords tend to do that because it's more logical than emotional. So the advice that I have for you, because you, you know, you went through this ace of cups and you, you know, that's definitely feeling sad and um, blocked emotions and just feeling like you have all these blockages. So the advice I have for you is if you want to be happy, like as indicated in the sun, you're going to have to heal so that you're not blocked off so that you could be vulnerable again and so and, and so that you don't have all these negative thoughts of well what if this this person betraying me what is happening with this person now is this person with someone else you know again going on social media it's deceiving your own mind it's and it's manipulating it's not even the truth it's your it's 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 just it's nothing true about it what you had with this ace of cups is you had love but you couldn't give to that connection so my advice to you is because right now you're feeling like unloved and you know you just you're feeling the emotional loss so my advice to you is to is to heal from this and to not let your mind deceive you and understand that if you open up and you allow yourself to be receptive and vulnerable then you can receive the love that you crave and with the sun okay and you can be happy again but you have to heal as this sun says as well okay that is all that i have for you um thank you so much taurus for tuning in um you know what i don't want to end this reading yet i definitely want to pull more cards for you i feel like you need more advice okay I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull these hidden messages. I'm gonna, these hidden truths back to show you some messages of the per, with the person that you're connecting with, okay? Some, some feelings that are not being spoken, some hidden feelings, okay? What messages do you have for Taurus in June 2022? Spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. This person didn't want to end this reunion. It's, again, this is actually, this is either you or your person, but someone in this connection did not want to let the other person go. Okay? It was hard for them. 
I feel like it's you, Taurus, only because you had so much going on, but you really did care for this person, but you didn't want to put into the connection. I feel you even though we are apart. That could be your person. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Wow, there's a lot of love there, Taurus. Yeah. I look for you everywhere. Wow. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Oh my goodness. I wish things could be different. Okay, so those are the messages. You know, Taurus, there's a lot of love in this connection still, okay? So once you heal and you feel good and you feel that you can give this, this connection and you do not feel overwhelmed, because that's coming for you. You have, a, you know, things are going to improve right? with this Nine of Pentacles and this Knight of Pentacles. Things are going to improve for you. You're going to feel financially stable. You know, you're going to feel in control and content. So once you get your, 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 your affairs in orders and you feel like you have things controlled in your life, then you should really think about this connection. This was a real, really special connection. There was a lot of love here. Okay, if I were you, I definitely wouldn't let this, this person go. I feel like there's going to be some sort of reconciliation if you just decide to be vulnerable again. Okay? That is all I have for you, Taurus, for June 2022. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I appreciate those that have subscribed so far. This is my baby. I want to continue it to grow. So if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe. And I wish you all love and light. And I will see you again on the next one.